Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we have a Houston Rockets video. Before I get into it, man, thank you guys so much for 5,000 subscribers, dude. I can't really comprehend it. I don't comprehend it ever. I, it's honestly, it's crazy, dude. I know 5,000 may not seem like a lot to you guys, but these last eight months, I've made about 800 videos. Um, and just the support you guys have given me since day one, it's truly like life changing. Like I seriously, I don't think people really understand like how much, like even just a like comment, like all that stuff just adds up and it ch it's changing my life. It is crazy. So thank you guys so much. Like I could make a whole damn video rat running your ear out, like just thanking you because it is absolutely unbelievable i it, seriously i don't think a single person understands how much you guys are changing my life and like i said we're only eight months into this so man it's crazy but i will be streaming the draft i'm gonna be streaming the draft the whole entirety of the draft if you guys want to come in say what's up um, i'll probably have it open for people to come in and join if they want to um, it's super easy, but I'll explain it on the stream. So as you can tell by the video and the background, the Houston Rockets may have some interest in trading for Cam Reddish. Cam Reddish, there are rumors and reports coming out of Atlanta Hawks camp that they are open to trading him. And I am so big on Cam Reddish. First off, because he is similar to my age and he went to my bandwagon NCAA school, Duke. And I freaking love players who came out of Duke. So he is about 21 years old. He's going to turn 22 here in just a couple of days. At, wait, no, I'm, I don't know why I thought September was a couple of days away. About a month, he'll turn 22. He's 6'8", got a 7'1 wingspan, and he weighs about 220 pounds. This past season, he was plagued by injuries, played in 26 games, put up 11 points for rebounds. He is a 31% three-point shooter, so that's not too good. But I would be very interested in Cam Reddish. I, I really would be. And I, I'll tell you why here. Because, guys, I love Jay Sean Tate. I absolutely love him. And I think the reason, one of the reasons I'm so big on Jay Sean is because, like, literally a couple of weeks after I started, a couple of days after I started making Houston Rocket videos, the Rockets signed Jay Sean Tate. And I did my research and I, you know, found out more about him and I watched the film and, you know, I read the articles. I did all that. And it was one of the first players that I had actually done like a really deep dive into. And when I came out of my film session, I was like, this dude is a stud. He is a stud. The only issue with Jay Sean is he's about to be 26, if not already 26. And so I don't have a problem with that age because it's not like it's old or anything. But as far as long-term small forward, I don't think Jay Sean Tate is the answer. Unless Jay Sean Tate comes in and puts up like over 13 points per game this next season, then I'll get on the Jay Sean Tate long-term train. But as of right now, I still think that we should be looking into other alternatives for the long run. And that's why I really like Cam Reddish because... You can still start Jay Sean Tate and have Cam Reddish come off the bench, or you can still start Jay Sean or vice versa. Cam Reddish can start, Jay Sean Tate can come off the bench. The only thing is, is I bet Cam Reddish gets moved by the time we have a firm understanding of where Jay Sean Tate's game is at. That's the issue. So, what I do like about Cam Reddish is he does play small forward, he is mainly a small forward. And with that 7-1 wingspan, there is so much defensive potential. There's so much offensive potential there as well. I would love if we could make a trade for him. The thing is, what Rocket fans are not going to want to hear right now is I would be down to trade Jay Sean Tate in a package for Cam Reddish. I don't think trying to, I don't think getting Cam Reddish is going to cost too much. I mean, he's only played two seasons and he's only played 84 career games. So he's had injury concerns both seasons, essentially. I don't think it's going to take up too much to get Cam Reddish. I think a future first and a good, decent player that can help him win. Now, honestly, I think Jay Sean Tate would be really good for the Atlanta Hawks, but I know a lot of people aren't ready to have that conversation. I know a lot of people aren't ready to get rid of Jay Sean Tate. So it's just, it's tough 
because I love Jay Sean and I'm hoping he takes the leap from like almost like Kawhi Leonard, how he sucked on offense when he came into the league or Julius Randle, how he couldn't shoot when he came into the league. Like I know Jay Sean Tate is putting in an insane amount of work and I'm not ready to just get rid of him quite yet. However, if he was in the package, I wouldn't complain. I would not complain. It would be tough, but it, it's not the end of the world. You're getting a guy who is literally five years younger. So I would love to hear from you guys down below if you want to get Cam Reddish. I know my one of my biggest – the thing is I don't think a lot of people are really even thinking about this for next season. What seems to be on a lot of Rocket fans' minds is, oh, my God, who are we going to draft at number two? I need to figure out who the better draft pick is. So many people are just freaking out about the damn draft, and it doesn't matter. Like, the draft doesn't matter, man. You're not the GM of the Houston Rockets. You can't decide who the pick is. No one cares if you were right. No one cares if you were wrong about whoever the Rockets pick or whoever ends up being the best draft prospect. No one cares. And all these people are just obsessed over, oh, my God, if we don't draft Jalen Green, I'm going to fucking die. And it's like, dude, figure it out. Whereas my mind seems to be thinking about like, dude, we have, we have to get rid of DJ Augustine. Like we have to get rid of, no one's thinking about how we have to get rid of DJ Augustine. The man has got three years left on his contract. He's 34 years old and there's just no, there's too many guards on this team and there's about to be at least one more guard on this team. So in my eyes, we need to get rid of DJ Augustine. We need to get rid of John Wall. We need to get rid of Eric Gordon. And... At the same time, we need to figure out a small forward long-term solution if Jay Sean Tate isn't that guy. It's pretty simple, and that's why I really want the Houston Rockets with their three draft picks. I don't care what the order is, right? I'm not the GM. I don't know what the best decision is, but here's my wish list. Guard, seven-footer, small forward. That's it. That's my wish list. I don't care what order it comes in. You can pick Jalen Green at number two. I don't care. I just would love a world where we get a a guard, we get a small forward, and we get a center, and we can go out and hopefully, hopefully one of those guys puts out. In my ideal world, I think the Houston Rockets get a late or sorry an early first round fuck yeah i can't talk an early second round pick and they so this is like the ideal world in me they draft jalen green then they go out at 23 they get like trey man and then they get i don't know a big man or a small forward at 24 and then a big man or a small forward at you know, whatever it is, 36 or 40, whatever the second round draft pick is going to be at. That, to me, is my ideal world. I don't know how they're going to get that early second. It shouldn't be that hard, to be quite honest with you. I'd even trade Eric Gordon for an early second in this draft. That early second is a late first. So that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, hit that sub button, man. It means a lot to me. I guess we're, uh, it's the hunt for 10K, baby. Definitely, definitely going to try and hit 10K here as soon as I can. So appreciate y'all watching.